Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete DocuSign tutorial for beginners. I will be showing you everything that you need to know within DocuSign from creating your own document from scratch, choosing the correct template if you are going to use templates and then the editing section where you can add in signature boxes, date boxes and anything else that you need to add. So to get started, just go over to docusign.com and it's going to take you over to this website right here. Now, before we jump in and sign up for a free account, the first thing that I want to talk about is the pricing and the plans that we get with DocuSign. Now, there's basically two different options here. We have e-signature, which is going to be fine for most people, or we have specifically real estate e-signature, which is going to be slightly different and is only going to be relevant if you are in real estate. But for the e-signature, we basically have three different plans. We have the personal plan, which is eight pounds or around $10 per month. Standard is going to be around $23 per month and then business pro around $35 per month. So what I would say is if you do stick around after the free plan, once you have your 30 day free trial, I would recommend starting off with the personal. And then if you do find out that you need to upgrade to standard because you have specific features that you need, then upgrade later on. I would go with personal first and then only upgrade to standard if you need to. But if we go back to DocuSign right here, we can go ahead and click on try for free and we can create our free DocuSign account. So in here, we just enter in the email that we would like to sign up with. We can then click on I agree to receive marketing communications and then click on get started. It's then going to ask us for our first name, our last name and our phone number. So let's enter that in as well. And then we can click on next. From here, it's then going to send us a confirmation code to the email that we signed up with. So just head over to the email that you signed up with. And as you can see, we have this six digit confirmation code. So all we have to do is copy this and then paste it into this box. Click on next. And now we can create a password for the account. So we enter that in, click on next. And then the final thing that we have to enter here is just the industry and why we signed up. So in here, I'm just going to enter in education and then why did you sign up? I want to send a document for signature. Honestly, this really doesn't matter. Then we can click on next and skip. And just like that, we now have our DocuSign account. So this is DocuSign right here. The very first thing that we need to do before we start creating these different templates and we actually start drafting up contracts or whatever you need to send is actually add a signature. So this is your signature that is going to appear at the end of all of these contracts. So just click in right here to change signature. And then you should see your full name right here that we entered as well as your initials. So we can either choose from any of these signatures right here, or alternatively, we can go in and just draw out a signature. Now I prefer to choose because it just looks more professional. So we could go down and choose one of these signatures right here. Let's just go for this one. Click on create. And just like that, we now have the signature set up. You can also add a profile photo in right here, but that's not super important. So let's leave that for now. Next, let's talk about how we can create documents to get people to sign them. We essentially have two different options here. The first option that we have is choosing from one of these templates. So we can click right here on browse all templates and you can see these are all of the templates that we have to choose from. The only downside to this is these are not super customizable. So if we go with sales contract, for example, we can't really customize it outside of what it already says. So if you have a very basic contract that you want to upload or where this is very, very handy is for like a, a W9 is handy there. But for anything else, these are not super customizable. So we could choose one, let's say sales contract and then add selected. And all it's going to do is drop the template into this area. So those are templates right there. But what I prefer to do and what most people will do is we want to create our own contracts that we can upload. So we can create this in Google Docs or Microsoft Word or the main word processing tool that you use. So in this example, this is just a basic template that I have for Facebook marketing services. So all I would do is go into my Word document and fill this out. So we have the date, for example, is the 2nd of July. So I could fill that out right there. Go in and choose the client's name. Fill all of that in and make sure everything is correct. 
And then once you have your contract ready, and all you need now is the signature, is we want to go up to File. Then we can download this. And we can really download this as any of these. So let's just download this as a Microsoft Word document. Just like that. That is now saved. And then we can go back over to DocuSign. Click on Sign or Get Signatures. And then we can now go ahead and upload that document. So we can go to Desktop right here. Drop that in. And as you can see, that document is now going to load it. Then we can go down and this is where we can add the recipients that needs to sign this. So in here, we can enter the client's information. Let's say this guy is called John Smith, just like that. We can then enter in the email of this person and we now have that recipient added. We can also customize the action that they need to take. So right now we have this set to needs to sign, but we can also set this to in-person signer. They just receive a copy or they need to view. And we can add multiple recipients right here. So we could add a new recipient, enter them in, and that's how we can add those right there. Then we can go down and set the email message. So of course, the way that they will be receiving this contract is through the email. So we can set up the email subject right here. So I will say email subject, complete with DocuSign, and let's just call this GeForce North Marketing Services, just like that. And then we can also enter an email message. So I just said, hey, John, below is the contract for our marketing services. As soon as it is signed, we will get you onboarded. Thanks, GeForce North. Then once we have all of this set up, we can click on next. And this is going to take us over to the editor. And this is where we can start adding in different fields. So in this example, I would have already gone through and taken my demo template right here. And if I was doing this for real, I would already have entered in the client's name. But what you can do is you could get your client to type in his own name because we could just grab a name field right here, drag this into where we want to drag it. And as we can see, that's now going to be on that field. So we drag the field from this side, let's just say full name. And then once this is dragged in, we can edit this on the right hand side. So we can see this name field is by default full name, but we could change this to first or last name. We can change the formatting, like the text, like the size of the text, the font, and also the color. And then we have things like data label, tooltip, and location. I don't really mess around with any of these. We can also get them to drop in attachments. So we could drop this right there and get them to upload an attachment if we need them to upload this. So we can go down and essentially add anything that we need to in here. And all I'm going to do is go down and say client signature. So I'm going to grab the signature from this left hand side, drag this in. And this is now a sign box. And of course, we want this to be a required field. So we can add that in right there. Then also the date, we need them to enter a date. So we will grab date signed right here and we can drag this in. And then we also want them to enter in an address. But if we look over here, there's no address field. What we could do if we need them to fill something in that we don't see in this standard field section is we can go over to custom fields and we can create a new custom field. So I can click on add and in here we can fill everything out. So I'm going to call this address. Then we can go for type and choose from any of these options. Now this is going to be text. So I'm going to leave this. Then in the initial value, I'm just going to once again say address because this is what will show up right here. It will say address. Then we can choose if this is required, read only or shared. I'm going to have this as required. And then we can go down set things like the font, the font color, the font size. So make sure this lines up to the, the rest of your text right here. And then from there, we can just go on save, grab the address field that we just created and drag this in. I'm gonna make this a lot bigger and have this like right there. And that is how we can use the editing section. We can go up and if we click on preview, this is going to show us what the document is going to look like for this person. So if we scroll down, we can see they have an address to fill in right here. They can then sign right here and then the date is going to be filled in. So that looks cool right there. Awesome. We now have that set up and then all we have to do is click on send and that's going to send the document. If you are in this editing area and you realize that you do need to make a change, we can go up to actions right here along the top and we can either discard this, we can save and close without sending, or we can edit the message. We can edit the recipients edit the documents or go to advanced options. So if I wanted to add a new recipient, I could just add them right there. Add recipient, click on done. 
and then we can click on send. So this document is now going to go ahead and send. And as you can see, I've now sent my first envelope. So if I go back to home right here, we can see that it's going to give us some data at the top. So over the last six months, we can see how many, how many documents we need to sign, how many we are waiting for others on. So of course, this is the contract that we just sent, expiring soon and then completed. So as soon as John signs this contract, it's going to change from waiting for others to completed. And I will show you this in a second. But along the top, we can go to agreements. So in the inbox, this is going to show you anything that you need to sign. Then we can go to send and it's going to show you all of the contracts that you sent. So right here, we can see the name of the contract, the status that this is at, the last change. And then if we want to resend this, if John said, hey, I didn't get that, then we could just resend it right here. We can then see completed. So all of the contracts that are completed and have been signed. We then have action required. So once again, this is anything that you need to do. And then we have a few other options down here, like drafts, deleted, waiting for others. And it just keeps everything organized so that you can click through and see exactly what you need to do. We then have templates. So templates is going to be very handy if you find yourself sending the same documents to the same people over and over again. What we could do is we could create a template right here. And the template name, I could call this uh, John Marketing template. We could then add the documents right here. So once again, let's add this same document. Then we can add the same recipients again. So let's just say this is uh, John. And then we can fill this in. Go down to add the message, fill this in in the same way. And then we do the exact same thing where we can go through and we can add in the same information. So you can see if we were sending the same thing over and over again, and we have to keep coming in here and adding all of these different signatures, and we have to keep adding in the date, it can get pretty frustrating pretty quickly. Whereas if we create a template like I am right here, then it's going to save us a lot of time. So let's just leave it like this. We can then go save and close. And now this is saved as a template. So what I can now do is if I want to create a contract for John, is I can click on browse all templates. And if I go over to my templates, I can see John's marketing template is here. So I can now select this. I don't have to go in and edit this. I don't have to add John as the recipient because this is all automatically saved. The message is saved. We have the name. We have all of the fields filled out. So all I would have to do is click on next. Once again, this is all automatically filled. So I just send and that's going to save me a lot of time. We also have reports along the top and this is just going to give us reports for the account. So we can see report types information on envelopes sent from this account, totals based on envelope status, recipient activity report. We have all of these different reports right here. Not something that I personally use, but if you are a big company sending a lot of contracts, this can be very handy. With all of that said, let me now go over to John's email, fill out this contract, and I will show you how this will look when somebody signs a contract with you. I am now in John's email. And we can see we have the email right here, complete with DocuSign GeForce North Marketing Services. So this is the email John will get. He just has to click on review document and then we can click on agree. And now in here, all John has to do is come down, fill in the address. So we could type that in right there. The date is already going to be auto filled. And then all he has to do is type in the signature so we can select that right there, sign, and then we can click on finish. It then says a copy of this document has been saved to your DocuSign account. And perfect, this has now been signed. So if I now go back over to DocuSign and refresh this, that document is now going to move from waiting for others into completed. And if I now go over to agreements and then click on completed, we can see that John has signed this and this is now completed. So that is my complete DocuSign tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.